Nigel, we win as a team, we lose as a team. Collectively, you'll probably say that wasn't good enough today. Nowhere near, uh, especially in the first 45 minutes. I'm unbelievably disappointed after the week that we've had. Brilliant performance against Fulham last week on Sunday. Training's been brilliant this week. Uh, and to play the first half as we did, but no idea at all where that's come from. No excuses, but the conditions no. was, were, were terrible today, weren't they? They were, but that's not an excuse at all. Uh, in those sorts of conditions, you expect all your players, experienced young players, to do the basic things right and well. Uh, and we didn't do that. I'm pretty sure that you, you would advise against this, but would, would one or two have uh, their eyes on Fulham on Tuesday night? Uh, I can't see why, uh, because nobody's guaranteed a place, especially after today down there. And I, important games were today in Shrewsbury next week, not Fulham on Tuesday. Did everything go wrong that could possibly go wrong out there today? Almost. Uh, the first goal, I think, is a deflection again. And then the second one has dropped to him. But uh, second half, we've had situations, ball gone across the face of the goal. Uh, but sometimes in football matches you have to get hurt, you have a desire to get a goal uh, and we, for some reason we didn't have that today. There was a renewed vigour at the start of the second half, a goal early in there could have made mm. it very different from it. Yeah it did but then again the other side of that conceding right on the stroke of half time that second goal uh, was, a, was a blow to us and you know when you're defending a 2-0 lead uh, you know you're pretty comfortable and it takes a lot then to, to claw it back uh, but right at the start of the second half we had a great chance Stefan Skugel straight away but we did well today, uh, delighted with his, uh, with his debut. Um, John Brayford again was superb, but apart from that, not a lot else.